That is the one truth, Television Network's theme of the year of 2009. We also have a focus that's going on this month. Um, our focus this month, how great is our God? Actually, that's our focus for today. So we're focusing on how great and awesome our God is today. Now we do have a theme for the month, and that theme is to make the right choices. Decisions, basically, if you're gonna sum it all up, what decisions are you making? What decisions are gonna cause you to go further in your life with God, or further in your own personal endeavors? Or what decisions are gonna keep you back? I mean, we don't have time to sit around making the wrong decisions and then wallow in that for just a little bit because then you're gonna be losing time. You're gonna lose, I mean, the wrong decision could set you back how many years, how many months, how many days. We don't have time for that anymore. So right today and every day, we're focusing on moving forward, advancing, going forward with the kingdom of God, going forward with the things of, that are um, in your life, the decisions that you're making. So that's what we're focusing on. How great is our God? That's what you're hearing right now. That's the theme of this, the focus of today. Um, I didn't tell you my name, my name is Grace Babb. I am here, privileged to be here to host this whole celebration, to celebrate with the One Truth Network, the, the One Truth Television Network station, um, just the great things that God has in store for the station. I believe there's gonna be good things coming up, good things um, not just today, but good things also in the future for the station of the One Truth Television Network. We're gonna go into some interviews today. We're gonna go into other things. This should kind of give you an idea of some of the people that you'll get a chance to hear from, some of the people that are gonna be ministering to you in, in your homes every day. We've got a lot of people coming into the One Truth Network this year. So we're celebrating that. We're introducing them to you today and we're giving God all the glory in the meanwhile. All right, like I said before, we are bringing in some of the best of the best of gospel. And today I'm sitting here with one of the best of the best <laughs> of gospel. I don't know He's about the that. musicians, musician from what I understand. This is Reginald Jackson. Everybody welcome him here. Thank you, thank you. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. Good, thank You're doing you. such a great job. <laughs> thank you. I'm honored to be here with you. Hey, I'm humbled. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I said you're the musician of musicians. What is that exactly? Well, some people say that. I, it may be because, I, you know, when you work in church ministry, uh, think, think about Ricky Smiley and the fact that he, he reaches so many people through his ministry of playing. I think about him because I play for several churches uh, in the Decatur, Madison area. I play for um, El Shaddai Ministries, and I play for St. Stephen's Baptist Church, and I play for my home church, which is Pentecostal House of Prayer in Decatur. And everybody asks me, how do you play for three churches? Well, it's called 8.30, 10.30, you know, 12 o'clock. <laughs> and then you have a night service, of course. So uh, doing that, and, and not only that, but, but actually being blessed to have um, the piano, saxophone, my principal instrument, clarinet, the organ, and flute. And those are the instruments I play in public. The rest of them I play at home by myself. But Okay, what but, are the other instruments? Uh, well, you know, some of the brass. For, for example, I was a band director for over 12 years at high school. Mm -hmm. So I had to learn a little bit about all the instruments to be able to teach mm -hmm. and really be effective. But the other instruments, uh, for example, clarinet. I started uh, in middle school with clarinet, moved to um, high school on clarinet, it really progressed. And it's a funny story how I started playing saxophone, which is kind of, most people consider me to be, you know, a clarinet or a piano player. Right. But, um, I was playing clarinet and nobody really wanted to hear me play clarinet. You know, like I wanted to play in church, I wanted to play weddings, I wanted to play solo. I felt like I had something to share with audiences everywhere. And the clarinet, just because of my narrow thinking, I just didn't think that. And when I heard such great people as Kurt Whalum and David Sanborn, Gerald Albright, I was like, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. And so I started playing saxophone some years ago. and it. The Lord has truly blessed me to be able to share. I travel all over the world, do workshops everywhere, and it's just a, a, a true, true blessing. Yeah. Okay, we welcome you here on the One Truth Network Television Station because we're going to bring in people like him, not just talent, but people of the Word of God. And this is what you can expect um, coming onto the station here and every day 
with the one truth. This is the gospel good news station. <laughs> Not bad news. But good news. But good news. <laughs> I love that. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what he does, a little bit about what we're into here at the gospel, at the, at the gospel good news station. And then we're gonna be right back and you're gonna hear a little bit more. <laughs> 